A recent World Health Organization study concluded that globally more than 10% of the adult population suffers from migraine. Females are two to three times more likely than males to experience migraines. This is the testimony of one patient and her battle to overcome the debilitating effects of intractable chronic migraine. I started to experience migraine from the age of more or less 12, um, just prior to puberty. And I would say the migraines really increased in intensity around about the time that I had my children during my pregnancies. Migraine pain for me was like almost a, a, a thumping pain or a, a throbbing pain all the time. Sometimes on the left hand side of my head, sometimes on the right hand side. But it will always um, be preceded by a couple of hours of just feeling lousy. The, the duration of the headaches tend to be varied, sometimes only eight hours or a day, and sometimes I will actually go and sleep with a headache and the next morning I will yet again wake up with another migraine or maybe still the same episode. But as time progressed, obviously the incidences um, occur more frequently. Mrs. Mayer was a good candidate for ONS therapy because she fulfilled all the criteria of intractable migraine. She not only had headache four hours for 15 days a month, she had headache all day for up to 30 days a month. She had a quite serious disability due to the migraine. If I suffered a migraine attack, I would avoid any activities, especially with my family. I wouldn't go for a run or a walk. I wouldn't kick a ball with my boys and you end up not preparing very wholesome food for them because um, they are sometimes left out on their own. It made me feel desperate. I sometimes feel very ashamed to say that I was thinking if my life expectancy is that of a 76 year old and I have to live the next 36 years in this way, I don't want to really do it. It's not quality of life for me. There's two kinds of medications for uh, migraine. One is to prevent an attack, and the other is to treat the attack. Either way, these patients start using more and more of these uh, drugs because the drugs will either help them or they won't help them. From the start out, it used to be very effective, but after a while, it seems as though the efficacy thereof has um, has um, deteriorated um, to such an extent that you, I was taking it every day with very little effect. Unfortunately, the side effects um, were of such a overwhelming number that um, I couldn't um, justify to continue to use it. Eventually, these patients just spiraled down into a black hole of despair because if the medication doesn't work, what else is there? I pursued ONS therapy out of sheer desperation. I didn't know where else to go or what else to do. I went through all the pharmacological options. I even went through some surgical options um, to no avail. So this was, my, this was my last resort. How does ONS therapy work? This nerve supply to the head consists of three main nervous systems. And these have a very much interrelated working in the head. It has been found that by stimulating one of the three of these nervous systems, you will actually affect the others as well, which then works to alleviate the uh, migraine. In preparing for the procedure, I did a lot of reading um, and I gathered information from the internet and then obviously only after consultation with um, Dr. Wright. The ONS procedure consists of implanting of an electrode through a needle in the tissue at the back of the head. The generator has to be implanted, and that usually gets implanted at uh, various sites in the body. I personally prefer to implant it in the buttock. So the wire or the electrode has to be tunneled from at the back of the head all the way down next to the uh, spine, just under the skin, and the whole thing can be done under local anesthetic. The patient doesn't even need to have anesthetic for it. I wasn't nervous going to the hospital. I was more looking forward to it. Um, for me, it was 
looking forward to the day after this, looking forward for a, towards a more positive um, future. Fortunately, you do not really know what's going on during the procedure. Due to the fact that you're um, under, under sedation, you don't suffer any um, side effects or pain or anything like that. After the procedure, I did experience some, some uncomfort, um, um, discomfort rather, and some pain, uh, but that resolved quite, quite quickly afterwards. I was hopeful. Uh, I was positive, I was hopeful, um, and I was looking forward to the future. You feel the stimulation, um, obviously, immediately, but um, getting the relief is a process. Uh, it doesn't occur in a... The, the ultimate relief doesn't occur in a week's time. I think just that you need to be patient. Um, it's not like a quick fix. It's not, not a 24-hour um, miracle solution. The ONS therapy is not noticeable at all. Um, it's, it's hidden underneath your clothes. And um, I can't say that it didn't affect what I'm wearing today. Nobody that doesn't know that I've got the ONS therapy um, will, will notice it at all. The ONS therapy doesn't restrict me in any way. Um, I couldn't really tell you that I've changed anything um, from my normal routine just because I've got the therapy done. After ONS therapy, the patient's lives can be described in one sentence, and that is they get their lives back. After therapy, I enjoy walking a lot more, having fun with my kids, um, horse riding, everything that I used to do in the past that I, I lost since having a lot of migraine attacks. I think I'm a better mother to my kids. I love having them around. My professional life improved a, a, a huge deal since, since having the ONS therapy. I went from only be, being able to work part-time to working up to 10 hours a day without feeling exhausted, without taking a lot of pain medication. I'm just coping a lot better. I still suffer from headaches, but the intensity and the frequency is far less. If I have a migraine incidence now, I can actually take medication and it will be effective. Um, I'd say I've cut about 80% um, of my analgesic use since having the ONS. If I had the choice of doing the surgery again, of having the pain relief that I do have at the moment, absolutely, I'll do it again. I would have done it sooner. It was just a road that I needed to travel down in order to get the correct therapy from the correct practitioner. I feel as though I'm myself again. I'm looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to having my kids grow up. Um, there's nothing that can hold me back.